Okay, so this is like my third time recording this. Because I keep like mess missing something or messing over something. So, Borrow just sold Prime Chamber, which was, you know, the rarest mod in Warframe history or some crap. It was like really expensive. People were selling the shit for like 100,000 platinum. So, you know, those people uh, kind of want to do a backflip off a bridge today. Because uh, he's selling it for like three, like almost 3,000 ducats and a million credits. Anyone can buy it. I have one myself. So, big disclaimer, big disclaimer. This mod is not good. It is not good. Not not really the only situation I can think it's good if is if you're a solo player like me and only and I'm saying only asterisk it's only good for Eidolons because of my specific rhythm for my Vectus. So let's just talk about what the mod does. Cause there is a normal variant called Charge Chamber and hold on. He's still talking. Yeah. So there's a normal variant card called charge chamber that gives you a this uh supposed to be 40 percent when you max it out prime chamber is 100 percent so the thing about prime chamber is that this 100 percent is not base damage this is a separate multiplier to your total damage uh if you don't know what i'm talking about things like serration and heavy caliber they stack because they add base damage that's why when you mod stuff with chroma you don't add serration because it's three acts like a serration so this is a completely separate multiplier from serration so, for instance, let's uh, the way serration works is that it takes the damage, it would take the damage of this, of this, multiply by 1.65, and then that's your total damage. Uh, the thing, the difference between additive and multiplicative damage is that if you add heavy caliber and serration, instead of um, instead of taking 1.65 uh, times your base damage, and then multiplying that total by 1.65, it adds 1.65 plus 1.65 percent which is like 3.44 percent right and then that gets multiplied by your base damage and then that's your total damage prime charge chamber works uh the different way where they take the 1.65 times your base damage and then it takes that one and then it takes a hundred percent of that total damage uh quick you know a quick example is like let's say it's a the modified frustrations you know point uh, two two point oh right two times damage and you do 100 damage so serration plus your base damage two times 100 your total damage is 200 the way it works uh heavy caliber let's say heavy caliber is also two it take two plus two which gives you four and then four times your 100 to give you 400 base damage the way uh prime charge chamber works is it take two times your 100 which gives you 200 and then take that times 100, which give you 2,000. That's why it's called multiplicative. So that, that's the long and short of it. So the reason why this mod isn't really good is that ribbons exist. And ribbons, uh, while they might not add, you know, uh, a hundred, like they, they don't add base, like they add their own multipliers. So that's what I'm trying to say. They add their own multipliers. Critical chances multiplier, critical damage multiplier, multi-shot. Ribbons can roll with all of these. Like my... Vectus Riven is minus recoil, minus damage infested, plus 125% crit chance, and plus 65 point something multi-shot, right? So basically it's like a point strike mix, mix of Vigilante Armament. This, and this by itself is just better than Prime Chamber. Now sure, I'm not getting that 2,000 damage, but remember, crits also double your damage, and there's all, there's all that other calculations, so... That's why Prime Chamber really isn't that good. Again, if this was before Ribbons, then yeah, this, this might be something you want to do. But again, uh, the biggest thing about Prime Chamber 2 is that they realize it only applies at 100% to the first shot of your sniper, or the first shot in the magazine. So this is only good on the Vectus and the, what you call it, Vectus Prime, because the Rubico has five shots, Blank has like seven, or like every sniper has more than two shots, two to three shots, you know. Most of them are like five to six, some have eight. So realistically, unless you have a ribbon that, like, you know, reduce your magazine by like 90%, then I guess you could use Prime Chamber, but Prime Chamber really is just meant for the Vectus and Vectus Prime. Now, with the Vectus Prime, if you want consistency, in, or you want to consistently proc Prime Chamber and not have your second shot do less damage, Depleted Reload, which is a Corrupted mod, will actually reduce your magazine to one while increasing your reload speed. Now, the interesting thing about the Vectus is that your reload speed is actually what your fire rate should be. So, or what your fire rate actually is, because again, you can only, you only have one bullet in the chamber, so it's fast, the faster you can reload it, the faster you can fire, so that's your true, you know, that's your true fire rate. 
So the one case, so like let's say normally you'd build your Vectus like this, right? You take your serration, your split chamber, you know, get your mandatory mods, point strike, vital sense. Uh, you'd want to use 90s for your Vectus because this is a sniper. You want a one-shot thing. Status doesn't really matter um, to a certain extent. And then you have two free slots. Now you could go Vigilante and Prime Chamber or or Vigilante and Target Acquired. Again, it's you'd mostly uh, most I think most people would agree you'd run Vigilante and then this would be your flex slot, right? Now. Um, through my testing, I found it to be more consistent to run Depleted Reload and Prime Chamber because you're always getting that bonus damage. You're always getting that 100% damage every time you shoot. The thing with Vigilante Armaments is that it's random. There's a random chance. This is 90% multi-shot. That means every time I shoot, I have a 90% chance to shoot another bullet. With Vigilante, it, again, it's additive. So, let's just put Vigilante in here. Now I have a hundred and, um, what is it, 150% chance... For, uh, for multi-shot, right? So that means every time I fire, I'm guaranteed to fire two bullets, and I have a 50% chance to fire a third one. And that's where the variations and the discrepancy, like, that that's the discrepancy when it comes to, like, overall damage output. Because Prime Chamber is consistent. As long as you have one shot in the chamber, you're, you're doing bonus damage. This one, it depends. I've done tests where I've, you know, three shot a bombard or two shot a bombard, even one shot a bombard, depending on how lucky I got the multi shot and the vigilante side bonus. So, I mean, overall, this actually might just be straight up better than Prime Chamber, but I would prefer Prime Chamber over Vigilante just for the consistency. However, when it comes to Eidolons, there's another thing you can debate too is that uh, sniper combo counter, because every uh, snipers have combo counter like melee, where every time you take a shot, your combo counter increases, which increases your total damage. Now the thing is, multi-shot does affect your combo counter. So if you, you know, shoot a bullet and it hits something, you, instead of getting one for your combo counter, and you, let's say you have Vigilante plus Point Strike and you get two bullets, it'll give you plus two. And you can see how you can stack a combo counter quickly and, you know, just start murdering shit. That's kind of what you do with Eidolons anyways. You, you shoot at them even though they're invulnerable so you can build up your combo counter. And then when, when it comes time to whatever, you know, you, you kill them. Now this is where I actually would argue uh, you'd use Prime Chamber over Vigilante armor, Armaments because this makes it more likely for you to one-shot a limb if you're using Chroma. At least, again, in my experience, I'm a solo player and I don't play by myself. This mod has allowed me to consistently one-shot limbs more so than Vigilante because, again, with Vigilante and my Riven, I am guaranteed to shoot three bullets, but that's still not enough. I still need a little, I need like a, a orange crit in there somewhere, or I need something else to one shot a limb with prime chamber. I don't need all that extra multi shot. So, and also you have to understand the d diminishing returns, and you know the law of diminishing returns. The more of something you add, the less it have over time. Because if you don't like, that's uh, think about it, that's how you mod. Because if there wasn't any diminishing returns, people just oh okay, you know serration, just throw all the damage mods on here, and no one really mod for critter stat or elementals, right? So here's the thing with diminishing returns. My Riven um, covers, it gives me more critical chance on top of the Vigilante set, and it gives me multi-shot. This basically gives me a free Vigilante armaments with a point strike, right? This is what this mod is. So I could add more elementals, right? Because um, I could do more damage. But I already, what you call it? I'm um, sorry. Well, okay. Let me clear this up. So if I, if I were using Chroma, I wouldn't have Serration, right? So let's say this is my Chroma build. Uh... So I have two free slots, right? And, of course, I'd want to add another uh, elemental, you know, so I have stronger radiation damage. And I did check this out, or look this up. It is more beneficial to run a dual stat with radiation than a, um, than prime cry rounds, even if it's maxed out. Because the radiation bonus is 75%, I think cold's like 50. And even though prime cry rounds has a bigger value than the 60 mod, it's still, you know, 25% less damage than you would do if it was a straight-up radiation. So, that's why I don't use Prime Crow Rounds. Also, um, even if that wasn't true, I don't want to have another... I don't want to form a D-polarity just to put it in here. It kind of messes with my build anyways. So, this is my Chrome build, right? I have Elementals. Do I add any more Elementals? I'm honestly just not... I could... I could add more Elementals wouldn't give me higher damage output. I would need another Multiplier, so... This is multi-shot, that's another multiplier, that's good, right? This is more multi-shot, that's another multiplier. This is critical chance of critical damage, more multipliers. However, I already have a ton of multi-shots, so adding more really wouldn't benefit me. That's why when it comes to Eidolon hunting, 
That's why it takes... You'd think, oh, you're shooting three bullets. Clearly should be able to one-shot limbs. Look at all the bullets you're shooting on and stuff. Again, diminishing returns. So that's why Prime Chamber comes in. Because it's a completely separate multiplier. Nothing on this build multiplies damage the way that, that this does. This is a multi... It, this is a multiplier that... It's like... Essentially like a Bane mod. Bane mods act the same way as Prime Chamber does. Because Bane mods multiply all your damage after damage calculations. All this, all my mods here, multiply like, you know, you'll have your 100 times the base damage times the critical damage when you crit and all this other stuff. And then that's it, right? And and if I had Vigilancy Armaments, that just adds to the multi-shot in, that, in the parentheses of that calculation. Prime Chamber, on the other hand, is outside the parentheses. So all that damage, all that multi-shot... Is then multiplied by 100, so that's why I'm more, uh, eight, more reliably able to one-shot limbs. That's the entire point why I run this mod. So this is the only situation where I think this mod would be useful, because outside, I mean, in general play too. Um, in general play, if you, I think it'd be fine too, because again, if you don't have a ribbon, you go depleted reload prime chamber, so you're doing two times damage every time you shoot. That's not bad. Um, but again, ribbon mods exist. Um, Warframes exist too, like Mirage, her, her, her three is, is basically the same as Prime Chamber, where it's multiplicative, it's not additive like Chroma. So, honestly, the main appeal to this mod is really because it was just rare, you know, this thing came out in update like 8, which is like in 2013, like 7 years ago now, and it's been like a rare drop since, like you get it maybe if you watch a dev stream, it costs like 100,000 platinum in the market, so... Honestly, this is just a novelty mod, so if you don't have it, don't feel bad, because it, again, outside this very uh, specific circumstance is uh, where it would actually matter. Because again, if I had a different ribbon, I don't think this would matter. If I had a ribbon with more elemental damage and critical damage, I don't think I'd even need Prime Chamber. And again, this is me being a solo player. If you play with a group, you don't even need a ribbon on your Vectors to kill Eidolons. You could have a Hero buff for critical uh, damage, you could have Obron uses one to buff your radiation damage. So again, in group play, it's kind of useless. Solo play, you do get some value out of it if you just don't have a ribbon for your Vectus and you just want to, you know, use your Vectus. But again, if you have a ribbon, if you're a solo player and you have a ribbon that's decent, then maybe this mod can help. Maybe. Again, I use it because I actually noticed that there is a slight difference. Now, I yes, I go from one shot to two shots. And when it comes to the final stand, I do have less combo multiplier because I don't have the extra multi-shot. But again, the damage for it makes up the damage multiplier makes up for it. So yeah, overall, it's more of a, a novelty um, mod. It's not really good. Um, is it bad? Eh, yeah, kind of, because it's only really effective on one sniper rifle. Again, if this was before ribbons, then yeah, I'd be like, yeah, this mod's actually pretty good. But uh, I think I've been talking about this long enough. Um, thanks for watching. I was going to show relevant gameplay and testing all that shit, but I think, you know, keeping it brief and succinct is just better overall. Yeah, again, thanks for watching. Oh, wait, oh, before I go, before I go. Well, I didn't mean to pet you, cat, but... I will show off my Chroma build so you understand, like, oh, why are you not one-shotting? Um, so this is my build. Uh, two Arcane Nullifiers, because the way this build works, I have no efficiency, and Rage is the only way I'm generating energy, or I probably should just change it to Hunter Adrenaline, honestly. But Rage is the only way I'm generating energy in this build, and... The Eidolons hit hard, but not hard enough. The only way I can reliably pro uh, get energy is either when I'm fighting a Hydralis, which is the last Eidolon. So when I'm fighting the Terralis and the other ones, they release that EMP wave when you break their limbs, which does enough damage to give me back enough energy to recast my three. And the uh, Arcane Nullifiers, you know, nullify the Magnetic proc, so that's why I have them here. Uh, oh, I also forgot to mention, if you don't want to use Depleted Reload and you're not doing Eidolon hunting, you're just doing it for regular play, Arcane Momentum will help you out with that, because on a critical hit, you get a 40% reload speed, which is pretty nice. Um, but yeah, this is my build, just ton of your strength and duration. I get up to 900% damage, so like, not just duration, but just said 900, and then like 1,000 armor. And then Deadeye here, I just have, I don't know if Deadeye is even worth it, because this adds, I'm pretty sure, base damage, and it doesn't really matter, because I'm Chroma. But uh, honestly, I don't know what other mod I'd have here. Because, yeah, I could put, like, Steel Charge in, like, for what have, like, how much more mod capacity? Like, four, yeah, okay, I'd put in Handsprings. Like, it, I don't know. This is my final build, um, and, yeah, that's about it. Again, I think I showed off. Yeah, this is my, uh, my actual Chroma build. Again, Prime Chamber fits right here. Uh, this used to be Vigilante Armaments, that's why there's a 
This used to be this should be a this is a dash player, that's why it's you know nine right now. Also sniper ammo mutation in the exilist slot because I do use carrier for the vigilante bonus set because my cat would die a lot. So just having carrier is more convenient. And if I do if it does die, which will because you know it's an idle on fight, I still have ammo mutations, so I don't have to waste any, uh, ammo pads. So yeah, that's my entire build. By forma. Uh, let's see, like what is it? I don't even know because it's like I have so many polarities on here. But mostly dashes and Vs, that's about it. I don't think I formatted this. I think I might have formatted the Exo slot because it was a V. But uh, yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, go get Prime Chamber if you don't have it, I guess. If you care. it's it, Again, it's a novelty. Uh, it's a million credits in like three, well, 2,995 ducats. Alright. For the last time, thanks for watching and goodbye.